ongoing and ongoing. And there's a, a point where you have to, remember I said that old saying, the seeker of God never finds God? Because the seeker of God is always seeking that which already he is or has. And it's, uh, that's the problem. The mind is that instrument that forever needs to chatter. <laughs> and so it's always seeking uh, uh, something that already exists. And it's just uh, that sort of thing. But that's creation, you know, and uh, that's, that's how the supreme being has to lose itself. Uh, you can't always be. Uh, be. Uh, this one was a good question. Let's see. That was uh, this was he, this man who's reaching for esophageal cancer. Ooh, a lot of that out there. Palate, uh, you know, esophageal. There's just so much cancer. Eye, eye socket. Oh, there's uh, we've seen cancer in every part of the human body there is, I think. But uh, as soon as I think I've seen it all, in comes something new, which is kind of fun in that way, but sad in another way. Yeah, I mean, this is the lymph system. Someone was asking me about hiatal hernias, and of course that's, uh, you know, that's your lymph system swelling the esophagus and giving you a stricture at the esophageal sphincter there into the stomach. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you really want to move your lymph system. This is the lymph system in the wall of the esophagus. Remember, cancer is a damaged cell from acids. Where do these acids come from? The cells themselves. They don't fly in from Moose Jaw, Alaska. Your blood acids, of course, can, uh, can hurt you a little bit, but the body's always trying to keep that pH to 7.4. So this esophageal cancer, this is your lymph system, and you're probably backed up in the wall of your gut, too, which is a small and large bowel. This can make you malabsorbed, uh, IBS and you don't know it, Crohn's and you don't know it tumors and you don't know it, you know, that sort of thing. Because this is in the wall of your GI tract here. You know, this is the GI tract, generally mouth from you know what. And that's just a bunch of cells making a nice little tube and then a little pouch. But these cells, you know, eliminate waste and that all is tied to your lymph system, my friends. So really uh, get into this a little stronger. Uh, and you hit it right on the head. Your neurotransmitters are low. You're an athlete. Your that's your adrenal glands. Well, those neurotransmitters controls the kidney filtration of the lymph. You know, so like the dopamines, acetylcholines, the real important to get and rest and take it easy. Don't always pound the pavement, because remember, as an athlete, if you work, if you create too many acids by your activity, and you're not filtering them through your kidneys. This can exacerbate the problem. See, because we don't, when, when you're not filtering acids, you can't create a whole bunch more and think that's going to help you. We had this idea that exercise cures everything, and it does not. I, I've had the opportunity to have some pro athletes in here through the years, and uh, they've proved this to me over and over again. So I like the word rest and relax, you know. Uh, do what you have to do in, the, in, in keeping yourself fit, but at the same time, you get your kidneys opened up because you don't want to have esophageal cancer. And you'll start swelling out here too. And it's like, ugh. Uh, I wish I could show you some pictures. We'd have fun. I've got some uh, incredible pictures of, of uh, a span of 40 years. And, uh, well, I did have some people rip me off once. So, you know, probably the last 20 years. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the B12 shots and all that crap. Yeah, I don't, I don't live in that world. Uh, yeah, this person says uh, they consume only fruits. They notice the smell of ammonia, mainly coming from my skin. Yeah, I would say, you know, really work on those adrenal glands. Uh, you could be, uh, uh, I don't know, your sugar metabolism sounds like you're, that's where you're really having the problems. Uh, let me see what else. When I, 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 I missed this early on. Other for complex carbon, etc. The smell disappears. Well, you know what? You could be even pushing that inside out of out, out of you. Um, you're right. It could be a detox symptom there because you have a lot more complex sugars in in your starches than you 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 do your others. But uh, uh, I remember I had a bad habit of sweet tea, and uh, I, I it was just. The sucrose is just real complex sugar, so you can convert that to ammonia. But, uh, uh, let me see here. The zapper. Someone asked me about the zapper. 
Yeah, I mean, Hilda Clark was the same town I'm from. Uh, of course, the prosecutors went after her back then. Uh, these prosecutors, I don't know, some of them uh, just, I don't know, know what day it is. They're fixated on the negative. But uh, you know what? Uh, use a parasite formula in, in botanicals, and, and it's adequate. Uh, but really, move your lips. Uh, again, we're not after bacterial zapping. Uh, you know, the biggest issue we face is fungals, uh, uh, and then, of course, the viral loads. And the viral loads would not be a problem if it wasn't for weakening cells. And that's uh, another issue. So really, a healthy, clean body is a healthy, clean body. There's no problems with any of these things. Uh, someone asked me about asparagus. Curious? Uh, supposed to be a good aphrodisiac. <laughs> I don't know. I love asparagus. I don't know. Raw in salads or steamed, however you like it. I like it. Miss Karen, thank you for your comments, sweetheart. Love you, too. Uh, <laughs> you asked me something over here. but Yeah, here it is. Uh, let's see, but your husband uh, recently went raw, can't tell me he's sick, skinny. Yeah, I mean, this is what we don't understand, and that is malabsorption. And then the other factor is uh, pancreatic. I remember a mother brought her daughter in one day, and she was 15 at the time. She says, my daughter has, and she was a little sniffity, and she says, my daughter has candida, and I want you to help her get, it, get rid of it. And I looked at her daughter and I said, well, you know, Mom, she has a much bigger problem than Candida. And her mom kind of looked at me and she said, what's that? And I said, look how skinny she is. Well, this girl just took off a crying and everything. And I said, you eat all you want, don't you, honey? And she said, well, yes, I do. But they call me anorexic and bulimic. And I said, yeah, because you're malabsorbed and have a pancreatic weakness. Any undigested foods in your stool? Well, yes. So I fixed her up, and now she's a model in, in uh, New York City. So it was pretty cool, you know. But uh, you've got to fix the problems. And on the road to fixing them, you could look worse. I mean, I don't know what to say. And this is the kind of information we must learn and people must understand because people freak. Your loved ones freak. My family always said, fat's better. You know, fatten yourself up. Well, fat people don't live as long as skinny people. But still, malabsorption is a, is a serious issue we face. And it's a lymphatic issue. And I keep going back to the lymph system because after 40 years, what's the bottom line here? What's the bottom line to this? Because we don't have time to mess around anymore intellectually. We don't have time to play games of the medical community and, and the games of naturopathy and deficiencies and taking these. People are spending thousands of dollars to go to naturopaths. They used to call me expensive. Let's see, I charge nowadays 250 uh, for two hours in my appointments. One naturopath up the road charges 800 for her initial appointment. And uh, if you call and ask her a question, it's 50 bucks. Whew. That's weird. That's, that's what I'm talking about. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, not good here. So your husband, just hang in there. Uh, work with his GI tract. Use the stomach and bowel formula. Get that lymph system moving with him. Get his kidneys working there, honey. And uh, he'll, he'll, you know you're turning the bend when, when you start filling out. Because you'll go skinny first, but then you'll start filling back up. You'll start to see muscles coming on. And that's when you're turning that bend. And now on the same food that made you look skinny, you started gaining muscle. It's, it really shows you the intelligence and the focus that the body does here by moving itself to cleaning itself before it builds itself. It, it's kind of hard to, to buy a house that was full of rotten wood and start, start putting in new wood without taking out the old wood. It's kind of hard to do that. You have to remove. You have to do your cleaning first. That's natural. That's common sense. But sometimes you don't look so good. You go into a house and rip out the walls. They don't look so good right then. But then when you start putting in the new walls, they're like, oh, now it's looking good. So that's the sort of thing that we're up against and we have to deal with. Now just keep that in mind. Uh, 